Today I wanted to share with you my newest album. This is a recipe album and I made it to be for desserts. So, you know, this will be like desserts only recipe. It says sweet treats and here on the front what I did was I added some eyelash trim. There's some cheesecloth back here behind the flowers. These are some, the pink flowers are prima flowers and the little white roses I just picked up at Michael's and I just added some pearls here and here on the side you have a little fork and spoon and this is just a white sheer ribbon and then on the back you know I left the back of it plain but I wanted this album to be kind of shabby chic um, here on the front you know not your traditional um, recipe paper colors what I did was I used the Prima Pad Love Story and I just, you know, thought the papers were so pretty that I just wanted to make a recipe album instead of, you know, just a regular photo album. But, anyway, the closure here, what I done was I made it where you can expand it. So you just untie the seam binding here. And then you can just open it or close it, you know, tighter. And you just tie your bow. And you can either, you know, untie it and tie it for your closure or you can just unclip it. Okay, so here on the inside, what I did was I added a little metal spoon and I tied a twine bow here. And then here you just have a recipe card. And this opens up. And here it has your measurement standards. I just printed that off of Google. And then here you have a pocket. And this pocket is expandable. So it'll hold, you know, a lot of recipes or photos or, you know, just whatever. And here I just have a little glassine bag. And I printed this off on Google as well. And this image I printed off as well. And then inside the bag, there's a little recipe. And this is another image that I printed off of Google. Um, all of the recipes and these little measurements here, those are all from Google. But the recipe cards, I purchased those from Hobby Lobby. And they are from Paper, Paper Crafts, Paper Studio recipe cards. Okay. But here you have just a peanut butter cookie recipe. And then you have two recipe cards. I just tucked them into the little bag here. And back into the pocket. And then here, I made all of the pages the same um, because my idea was, you know, you could put brownies, cakes, cookies, um, what I say, brownies, cakes, cookies, pies, and, you know, whatever else on here, miscellaneous desserts. But I thought, you know, that would be pretty cute and um, pretty simple. So here on the front, you have a recipe card. This flips open. You have a recipe card here. And here, I left the pockets empty, um, but each page does have a pocket. But I left them empty in case you have, like, magazine recipes or um, recipes printed off of the internet. You know, just something you want to tuck down in there. And each page does have a pullout. And again, this is just off of Google. But like I said, you know, you could write brownies here, and then this whole page would be nothing but brownie recipes. Um, I left them plain on the black, on the back so you could write your own. And I thought that this would be like a really cute gift for a mom to pass on to her daughter who is just moving out. Or her granddaughter, you know, who is just moving out. You know, maybe write down some recipes that are, are her favorite or his favorite, um, you know, for the grandchildren or whatever. You know, I just thought it would be a really cute idea just to pass down some recipes. Um, but here you flip the page and on the back here you have another recipe card and this flips up and I left this space here plain so you could write your own recipe there or you could add a photo you know you could add a recipe here and maybe a photo here of you cooking you know whatever the recipe is or photos of the food you know just whatever but that closes back and then it flips open and so here on this side, you have another recipe card. And then here, 
you have a belly band. And again, I left it, you know, empty. So in case there's little recipes, you just want to tuck down in the, you know, just tuck down under here. Or again, you can place a photo here. Whatever. Um, this album will be for sale in my Etsy store. So if you are interested, just head on over. And I'll leave the link in the description bar below. And here again, this page, you have a recipe card. It flips open. You have another recipe card and a pocket. Okay, and then you have a hot fudge cake recipe here. And again, plain on the back. And I wanted to tell you too that these recipes, I did not glue down. Um, but they are, you have some little um, glue dots under there. So it'll just pop right off easily. But I didn't want to glue it down in case you didn't want these recipes. You know, you could just take this off, throw this out, and add your own recipe there. Or, you know, just whatever you wanted to do. Okay. That just tucks right back in. And flip it over. Again, here's your recipe card. Flip it up. You have your plain space here. And then you have a large space here for a photo or a recipe. And this flips out. Again, you have your recipe card. You have your little belly band here. Well. Okay. And it closes back. And each page does have magnets. You have a magnet on the front here. As well as here. And you're going to have a magnet here on the front of this page. Okay. Recipe card. Clips open, recipe card, and pocket. And one other thing too, each one of these front pages, the top here is the recipe card that is matted. It also is a pocket. You know, so if you have a little something you want to tuck down in there, then you have a little tuck spot there as well. Okay, and this one here pulls out. And this one is your cookie recipe. The ultimate basic oatmeal chocolate chip cookie. And again, they're not glued down. Okay. They just slide right back in. And this flips over. Recipe card. Flips up. You have your plain space here. Large space here. Okay. This flips out. You have your recipe card. You have your belly band. And again, you know, if you don't want to use the belly band, just add a recipe here or a photo. Okay, here again, recipe card. Flips up, you have another recipe card. You have your pocket. Then you have your mat here. And this one is Dutch apple pie. Okay, again, it's plain on the back. Okay, flips over, you have your recipe card, you have your plain space here, you have your large space here, you have your recipe card, you have your belly band, and here again you have the front of this, you have your recipe card and your little tuck spot here. Okay. This flips open, you have your recipe card in your pocket. And this one, I added sugar-free apple pie. Because like I said, you know, this back page here, you can make it miscellaneous. You can make it all sugar-free. You can make it different. Um, Just, you know, whatever desserts or whatever, you know, you wanted to add to this section. But I wanted to throw in a sugar-free um, recipe. Okay, this flips over. Here on the back, you have your recipe card. You flip up. You have your plain space, your large space here. This flips out. You have your recipe card and your belly band spot. Okay, and then here on the back, I added a little metal spoon here. And this little image here, it just has cup, teaspoon, tablespoon, dash, pinch, pint, quart, uh, quart and stick. 
and again that's just something I found on Google and this opens up here and again you have your glassine bag and these are your um, different temperatures and on the back you have your little sizes again you know to break them down and inside of here you have two recipe cards and a pecan pie recipe okay I just thought this was a super super cute album and it's you know not your traditional album that's what I kind of like about it I debated on whether or not to sell it because I liked it so much <laughs> but you know I can always make more if I need to and that let me show you too if you wanted to you know if you don't want this album to be you know thick I mean you know to me it's like a perfect size here but if you don't want it to be this thick you can just take one of these out you know you can take just the whole section out that's what I like about the ring binding system here and there are also these little um, pages here I was going to use these in the album but I decided not to and you know I decided just to make it just for desserts and you know just to make it with pages again you can do brownies cakes pies cookies and miscellaneous um, desserts whatever you wanted to do but you can just clip it back together here or you know like I said you can just use the little um, seam binding here and open it that way whatever way you wanted to do it but I hope you all enjoyed this album please let me know what you think let me know what you think about these colors um, do you like the not so traditional um, recipe album colors or do you like the you know regular colors the um, regular I don't know kitchen recipe papers or you know do you like this style but anyway thank you so much for watching hope you all have a great day thanks again bye